but let's let's think. There's a lot. Of, there's a couple guys still out there, uh, and a lot of different positions. And I know the draft is coming up, so we're not necessarily looking for certain pieces, or at least it seems that way. Is there anybody out there right now that you're looking at? Like we can get him in here. We can get him for cheap. Maybe a depth move, or maybe you know we can get him. You know, in rotation. Yeah, yeah, there's a couple I, I was looking at here. This is probably the – it's not going to happen, but I would love for us to bring in one more veteran linebacker to be a part of our, our depth – excuse me, our depth chart. There's two guys out there that I've always liked. Uh, Zach Cunningham played for Tennessee Titans. He was originally drafted by the Houston Texans out of Vanderbilt. And Micah mm-hmm. Kaiser is a linebacker from the University of Virginia. He played with the Rams, okay. and this year was with the with the Raiders. Guys who can run, guys who can make tackles. You know, yeah. uh, you know, Zach Cunningham could be that David Mayo type, but maybe a little bit more athletic, a little bit more sure sure of a tackler type thing. So it just uh, you know, it would make me feel better as as a fan that we've got yeah. someone in there other than who we've got right now. I think what what is surprising to me is the cornerback position is still loaded. With, yeah, with talent. Yeah. And, you know, I, I love like the Steelers signed Patrick Peterson as their quarter. One of the corners, yeah. they gave him like one, one year for $8 million. We're not looking to do that. But I would hope that, like, I, I still want us to draft a corner high, first round, second round. But there's some guys out there that I wouldn't mind having either a part of our team, just so we're not having to go to Danny Johnson so early in the season the way we've had exactly. in the past. And, like, we did sign Cam Dantzler, but. I want him to be cornerback number four. I want him to earn that playing time, not be given it because of the fact that he was cheap. You know, but he's better, right? <laughs> exactly. So someone who was cut because of some injuries but did really well a few years ago here was Ronald Darby. There's another one who could bring in uh, Kendall's brother, Kyle, played okay. for the Ravens last year. Nice. Um, uh, the other Ravens cornerback is Marcus Peters. You know, now I don't want any of these corners that are getting up to the 34s, 30, 35s, but if you're around 30 years old and you know, you got a little bit of tread on those tires, but we're not asking you to play, you know, 70 snaps a game, it could be something. Right. There's one other guy with two other corners, and I'll, I'll kind of throw this back over to you. Rock Yasin okay. came from the Colts. Love this guy coming out of the draft. Now, he was with the Colts. He went to the the Raiders. So I think his his value is kind of sunk, but he's got starting experience. But the only other one is Bryce Callahan, who's been hurt at times, but he's a really solid slot corner, mm-hmm. which is the position that Bobby McCain was playing in. And Bobby McCain signed with the Giants we uh, so after we cut him. So there's that position that we've got to fill anyway, and and Callahan was, is somebody in there. But there's just there's just a lot of veteran talent at corners out there. I noticed that. And now that's the, that's where I want, and we're going to discuss this later on down the line. That's where I want to really focus on in the draft. I, yeah. I mean, I, I really want to target the corner position in the draft to kind of keep what we have, but also bring in some young, fresh life. And, and maybe that's, maybe that's buyer's remorse because of what happened with William Jackson before. And, and like you said, Cam, Cam Dantzler, I mean, great i'm glad we got him but you don't want he he's not your number one he's not somebody that you're like this is it this is our main guy so i want to really focus on the draft but at safe at, at, at strong safety a guy that i believe you mentioned a year ago that uh to fill in that mccain spot uh john johnson i know? had him here yeah you did i was I gonna say sean your guy's <laughs> available Yo, I want him at Cleveland. He, you know, he. So I, I want to see if we can get, him, especially at, at a strong safety. I love what he was. We've been talking about him for a while. Um, so, but again, that's those are the places that secondary is where I really want to focus in the draft. See what we can't get for cheap. Um, linebacker, a couple guys I've looked at. Um, Jalen Reeves, Maven. I like what he guys is. He's got speed. I, I don't know if he. My main focus on it was that he's younger. There's a guy that we can kind of fill in there, not a lot of tread on those tires, and we can kind of see where we can put him, maybe for a depth piece, maybe, you know, he he shines. Guy that I always talk, I talked about last year, Quan Alexander, mm-hmm. uh, always, always been a fan of his. Uh, and, and that's where I'm like, he's been here. Why aren't we getting him? But maybe there's something that they just, they're not making that connection. And as long as we're on the defense, I know how you feel about this. Maybe this is my fan side coming out. I want to bring back, Matt Ioannidis, 
put him back at the number three or number four behind, you know, he could be the second rotation behind Allen and Payne, him and Fidarius Mathis. Be a great to just plug up that line. I'm telling you, if it wasn't for a stupid move, we, we, we would have kept him here, but we had to get Carson Wentz. So look, Matt, I, I'm making this plea to you now on behalf of the Washington organization. We want you back. Please come back. <laughs> Baby, come back. <laughs> Is he going to, we'll, are you going to move him to defensive end, play behind Young and Sweat? Like what, how is he going to get on the field with, with those D tackles? Hey, look, we'll run a 5-3, all right? They do run a <laughs> – well, they run a 5-2 a lot. They do. Exactly, exactly. So we're going to get him in that – but it's going to be a rotational piece. And, yeah. and for me more, it's I want to, to be able to put him in where he's familiar with the system. And then it's also you know what you're getting. You know the kind of contribution you're getting. He helped out that line in, in Carolina a year ago, and I, I, I didn't want to see him go. But you mentioned it to me before – we did do him dirty. We did tell him, hey, yeah, we're going to keep you here. And then the next day right, he was signed, gone. Right. We signed Carson Wentz. Sorry about that. So obviously he he might be a little, little uh, angered over that. But yeah, obviously that's, that's my fan side. Um, you mentioned having the right side of the line filled and we, we are kind of solidifying that line. Obviously in the draft, we're potentially looking at maybe an interior alignment, if not a tackle, depending on, you know, who's available at 16. Um, but there's a, but tight end, tight end is a spot that we've, we've been talking about. I don't want to say I'm out on Cole Turner, but we know that he's not that the best, he's not the super blocker. He's not that big. And obviously the point where he was supposed to shine in the past game, that didn't come to fruition. So in my opinion, I, man, I'm, I'm looking at tight ends, like who's out there, who, who can we pick up that's been around? Austin Hooper, he's been around a couple teams. We know he can stretch the field. This guy, he's had injury issues, a little bigger, Irv, Irv uh, Smith from Minnesota. Like somebody that we can get in there on the other side of Bates or, you know, even Logan Thomas, give him, you know, give give these guys help so that their tackles aren't sitting here and being berated by the defense the edge rushers or even the outside linebackers or people twisting and stunting and all that type of stuff. So I really kind of want to focus on, on those linebacker, you know, obviously secondary in the draft, but tight end, the, the the holes that we don't know if they will fill in the draft. But, you know, let, let's see with all the amount of people that's out there. These are a couple spots I want to look at, man. Yeah. And those are those, especially, I mean, Hooper got a big money deal with the, with the Browns and, and we really wanted him. We went after him yeah. hard and he got, he got, well, I think uh, two or three more million per year from the Browns. Although was that, during Jay Gruden's time, or is that Ron Rivera? It might have been Ron Rivera, and then we settled for Logan Thomas because we didn't get him. I can't remember that. Hmm. Um, I know, I know, there was interest here by the by the franchise in him, and Irv Smith is is younger. So yeah, you're right. Yeah. I think I think the fact that we didn't cut Logan Thomas and go after any of the free agents almost makes me believe that they're set with the the, the tight end room. But okay. um, but no, you're right. I mean, the, the, those guys are talented players. All right, so I've got one fan, one fan out, and then I've got a I've got a fan, I've got a, a DB, and then I've got an offensive player for you. Okay? okay, okay. My one fan out to be to join our defensive line, it's not going to happen because he's going to want too much money. Is Jadavian Clowney, nah. so that I can get a Clowney jersey <laughs> since I watched him here in South Carolina. I, with I can right put, in well, South Carolina. He, he can wear number seven for us. Heck, it's open now. He's commander. Yep. The Iceman was a Redskin. It's available. Yep. You know, but go ahead and put it on. Yeah, uh, I, I looked at that and I was like, I was like, is she gonna say? And I completely, it completely slipped my mind that he went to South Carolina. I was thinking of all the teams in the league that he played for, and I was like, no. oh, he wouldn't want him. But yeah, I, I love that. I, I would love that. I would and, but love he's that. gonna be too expensive. Even oh, yeah. he, oh, he yeah. came back last year in Cleveland for you know exp- a pretty expensive one year deal. Mm. Uh, there's some really talented safeties out there. Adrian Amos of the uh, of the Packers. I loved him when when he went from the Bears to, to Green Bay. I loved that that signing. I was all after him. We looked into somebody, or we brought this up last year. Rodney McLeod. He was with the Eagles. Played at the University of Virginia. He actually played pretty well for the Colts last year. I'm kind of surprised that he's still available. It's got to be an age thing. But then there's one other guy that I thought could be a you know, and they, they probably see Percy Butler in this role, but essentially he could be that Buffalo nickel or allow Cam Curl to either 
play down or play up would be the former Steeler um, safety, Terrell Edmonds. The right time I used his name oh, yeah, since right. I mis- called his brother <laughs> that. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's like he's not – he's he's only a, a you know backup fringe starter type player, but mm-hmm. – he can come and play near the line of scrimmage and, and and make make an impact there, allowing Cam Curl to play back or vice versa or be interchangeable a little bit. He's more of like that strong safety if you wanted to kind of kind of classify him. All right, so I've got an offensive guy for you. I couldn't believe this guy was still available when I saw it. I was like, really? And so I went and Googled his name as well. Mr. DeAndre Carter is wow. a free agent. Let's go. Bring him Bring back. Bring him back. <laughs> get rid of Dax Milne. Draft Please. a wide receiver, and let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah we and, need to. I mean, and push Diami. He showed he can play receiver for us. Yeah, look. I mean, let's let's remember <laughs> DeAndre Carter in that year that we had a lack of receivers. We had only Terry. You know, when Curtis was hurt, DeAndre Carter showed up not just in the special teams, but he showed up in receiver. And, and there were some games where he was our leading guy. You know, so I am all about bringing him back, you know, on, on some cheap and put him back there. Now, that begs the question, Antonio Gibson. Okay. How are how are we looking? Like, I, I love the two-headed monster. I love keeping him. But putting him at kick return and putting him at potentially at punt return, if we bring Carter back, then we're not going to necessarily need that. He's Gibson is one of those that with the issues that I think he had last year. The more that he can do, the better. So I want to give him more opportunity. So does his role change if we get Carter back? Well, I don't think Gibson fielded punts, though, did he? Oh, did he not field punts? No, Dax Milne did. Okay. And so, and, and you know, so it's like, and if you have either one of those back there, I mean, you know, Gibson, you know, I, I'm, I'm certainly excited to see what Gibson can be with B enemy and his offense, but using him as kick returns as well, I think getting the ball in his hands is always a good thing. And if DeAndre's back there with them, you know what I saw here? DeAndre had 46 catches last year. He had 24 with us and 46 chargers. That that guy needs to be on our team. Absolutely. He can contribute, man. He's he's played himself into a contract. And hey, hopefully, hopefully he wants to come home. We will we will definitely see about that though. I like that. Is there anybody else on, on your list? Yeah. No. Nope. That, that's about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's what it is. A lot of it for me is looking for looking towards the draft. Um, yeah. And like you said, like we alluded to, I mean, the three positions that we're really looking for, even though we did we did well and we got a number of guys on the O line. If any of y'all saw my my mock 53 man the last couple of years, you know I need a lot of linemen. So I <laughs> definitely want to look that way in the draft. Um, I think it's inevitable that we at some point, um, sooner rather than later, we get a linebacker, but as you saw last year, who's that? Troy Turner. We loved him last year. He was available, uh, you know, third, fourth. Potentially, we could have got there, but we didn't. We didn't bite the bullet. Didn't know Troy Turner. Who? I guess. Who? Troy. Troy Anderson. Troy Anderson. Okay. Okay. It's not been a good day for me on here. That's all right. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, the draft and corner is the other place yeah. I'm looking for. So yeah, yeah that's definitely definitely uh, where we are looking. We're gonna uh, do a, a quick breather and then come back with the news that I know all of you want to talk about. Dun, 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 Let's go. <laughs> the Washington Commanders. There it is.